Good afternoon, my name is Hugo Gagioni and I would like to deliver some messages regarding our new technology called Optical Disk Archive. As you probably have heard, Sony have announced that we will stop the development of a future product based on LTO technology. We, of course, we will continue supporting LTO 5 and LTO 6 system because we have a very large uh, supply of systems already in place, but the issues that we have encountered with especially our end users uh, with the problems of migration and copying of uh, the LTO information as the, the new generations come by have uh, pushed us to examine other mechanisms for long-term archiving. And also, as you probably know as well, uh, the life cycle of tape storage is, is a difficult one and, and the number of read and write cycles that can be supported on this data. Many sectors in the industry are looking for ultimate archiving solutions that will not only prevent us from migrating from generation to generation but also for long life of archiving uh, conditions and even in very hostile conditions. Sony developed uh, through the years a very extensive knowledge of optical storage, uh, originally designed for XTCAM and the Blu-ray. We have expanded that technology to fabricate something called the ODA, the Optical Disk Archive. This cartridge is very similar in form factor of an LTO, it's a little smaller, and inside this cartridge there are 12 platters, and these platters can be of one layer double, triple, or four layers, giving us, giving us capacities of 300 gigabytes, 600 gigabytes, 1.2 terabytes, and 1.5 terabytes in a, a write once as well as in a re rewritable manner. These cartridges uh, not only give us a very fast random access to the data, but the longevity of the optical material is, is incredible. We have measured in, in, in excess of 50 years and the material is, is indestructible unless you physically damage the cartridge. Uh, the cartridges also uh, contain something called an RFID. It's a, it's a memory that uh, allows us to capture all of the metadata of the clips stored on the, on the drive, so that when you insert uh, on, on, on the different platters, so when you insert the cartridge in the, in the drive, immediately the table of all of the clips stored and all the material stored in the cartridge appear in your PC or Mac application. We have been selling the standalone unit, the ODS D55U is our first entry unit, and at this show we are showing an ODS D77U. The main difference between the two is that this unit has a single optical head with two lasers which gives us a relatively a, a modest speed, and probably around 300 megabit per second, good enough for a videography type of a archiving application. We can download content from memory devices onto this optical archive for a permanent storage or for temporary storage. But as we require faster and faster speeds, when people decide to transfer, uh, let's say, SR uh, tapes or libraries of SR information onto a faster uh, transfer rate, we had to increase the transfer characteristic of, of these drives. The D77 has a dual channel, uh, uh, two heads with each one with two channels, giving us four lasers of capacity. This unit can reach a speed of over 600 megabits easily in read and, and somewhat less in writing application. Uh, again, the, the drive communicate very simply with applications based on PC or Mac operating system. It has a USB 3.0 and the entire cartridge mounts like a, like a, a, a logical volume. As you open the application in your, in your computer, it shows up as a folder a folder of 1.5 terabytes, and it's data agnostic. You just drag and drop whatever piece of information you may have. Uh, along with this unit, we're also introducing a, a jukeboxes. And we have them in 10 cartridges with two drives and 30 cartridges with four drives. These are for a more 
general group of users, uh, six to ten uh, client users that may want to have access simultaneously to a, a, a fast bandwidth of the network of the of the content store and the and the jukeboxes. Uh, we also have a, a software a, a browsing and archiving tool that allows us to populate the metadata fields necessary to do browsing, searching, and ultimately archiving of the material. Of course, it's very easy to archive, uh, to, to store these cartridges, you just put them in the shelf, but we also have a, a number of uh, applications designed to completely keep track of the media asset management of this, of this information. Uh, later during the year, we're going to introduce a much larger towers that allows us to uh, store uh, up to 520 cartridges in the vicinity of 780 terabytes. We are in communication with many suppliers of uh, middleware and multimedia asset management. We have established a very close relation with Dalet as a, as a media asset management company. And the second supplier of the cartridge is TDK. And uh, again, one of its key fundamental features of the, its technology is that it is virtually migration free. As we progress in technology and we keep improving the driving, the drive technology in years ahead, the new drive can always read the cartridge below, before. Then as we move into double capacities in the future and much higher speeds of transfer rate requiring more sophisticated drive, this future drive will always read information that we record today. Therefore, there is no need to do the laborious copying of the information as it has been happening in the tape-based uh, systems. Um, we are very cognizant of the, the demands of uh, the electronic cinematography as we now introduce uh, higher and higher data rates uh, and as we move to 4K and 8K. Hence, these are the two visions that we have to increase capacity in the cartridges as well as data rate throughput for the future. Thank you very much, and you will be able to read more information about this technology at sony.com slash professional.